If you've ever been involved in a conversation about how scary bears can be, the odds are someone has brought up the short faced bear as a trump card. It was a two ton hyper carnivore that ran at 60 miles an hour, bro, they likely said. Arctodesimus definitely wasn't an animal I'd want to meet without a rocket launcher, but some aspects of its behavior and physiology have been exaggerated. Let's turn to a study by Figuerido et al. in 2010. For starters, it wasn't actually short faced. This description of the massive animal is due to an optical illusion of sorts caused by its abnormally deep rostrum. Its cranial ratios, according to the study, are about normal for big, modern bears, as well as its legs. The myth about a cat-like sprinter bear likely came from the fact that its legs are indeed longer than any other bears, but that's because its entire body is bigger than any other bears. When you've been extinct for 11,000 years, it seems understandable that the rumors about your hibernation winter body would spiral out of control. How much bigger than other bears is it, anyway? The 2010 study, which covered pretty much every known aspect of the critter, answered that as well. Arctodosimus had an average mass between 700 and 800 kilograms. For reference, the largest Kodiak bear ever recorded weighed 751 kilograms. That's 9.75 times the official published mass of Chuck Norris's physical avatar. The specimen UVP-015 weighed 957 kilograms. So the biggest short-faced bear we know of is equal to 12.42 Chuck Norris units. It's also 127% larger than a Kodiak's maximum. Figurido's team mentioned something else. They performed a rigorous craniodental analysis of Arctodus species characteristics and compared them to cats, hyenas, dogs, and other bears. All signs point to the short-faced bear being an omnivore like grizzlies rather than an exclusive predator like polar bears. In short, if Kodiaks are grizzlies on steroids, short faces are Kodiaks on steroids. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more paleontology content and watch out for my live streams every Monday. Vivid and out.